guys, I just lotioned up with this. As you can see, my hand is a little shiny. Now I'm gonna show you how I make my deodorant. First, I get a container like this. Excuse my nightstand, it's a little crowded right now. Oh, it smells so good, I wish you guys could smell it. I had my humidifier on last night with those two essential oils I showed you in a previous video. This um, Clean and Fresh and Rain by the P&J brand. They smell so good. It's like a comfort smell for me at this point. And I like to smell it on myself all day long. So what happens is I will take some milk of magnesia, probably shake it up a little bit, and then pour some into this dish, swirl it around a little bit. Okay, I like that. I usually take this one first and add it in. I don't know if it makes a difference, but yeah, I add several drops of the rain. Then I just do a few drops of this. I did about seven or eight drops of the rain, my favorite one currently. I just did three of this, the clean and fresh. And then I just like swish it around a little bit. Now I'm gonna pop the top back on and let it sit for a minute while I prep my underarms. I mentioned colloidal structured silver water before. This is what my entire family buys. It has so many health benefits. Um, you can use it for so many different purposes, but I am today using this as, a, as an antiperspirant for under my arms. Since I do not wear deodorant, I definitely needed something um, to help me to not perspire under my armpits as much and this definitely helps although I may have to apply it more than once a day which is fine by me so I use the liquid version under my arms first then I coat my underarms with this gel from the same brand and it works like a charm and after it dries I then put on this solidified deodorant mixture also excuse my voice I don't believe it's come back fully yet and I'm still waiting on that as you can see down here, I did not put away my art supplies last night. I decided to paint. I've been working on um, this piece for someone in particular. It's really from, the other one is from a picture and it has to be just right. So it's gonna take some time, but I think we're close to wrapping it up, hopefully. But this being inspired by my visions and dreams the Lord has given me. So stay tuned to find out what this ends up being. I've changed it so many times. As you can see, I white it out all around here and the sides from the original idea. So down here, I'm working on a horses piece. I really like horses. I'm getting into painting them, so yeah. Hey guys, I am currently back home. We just went to go purchase my ticket for the event that I'm going to next month. Stay tuned, like I said. Um, oh, I didn't even do my daily declaration. So I, honestly, like I'm gonna get on it. Um, I think recording it or at least um, mentioning it in a vlog consistently will help me to be consistent in doing it every day. I think it's really important to have some sort of declaration every single morning. Um, just something that your body and mind will remember. Your body's gonna remember anything you tell it, so I want something like that getting inside of me on a consistent basis, and hopefully that'll uproot a lot of those other things that I would not like to be inside of me. Um, the things that I don't want to think about, the thoughts that are not of God, and just anything that I'm warring with in my mind on a daily basis. I'm using this as a combative Thank you, Lord, skill for against waking us that. up this beautiful so, morning. Yeah. This is the day you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. On this day we ask that you, our heavenly Abba Father, will have your kingdom come and your will be done today on earth as it is in heaven, in each of our lives as members of the body of Christ. We ask now that you cleanse us through the precious blood of Jesus that was shed for our sins. This is like a, a supernatural shower, if you will. Search us, O God, and know our hearts, and see if there be any wicked way in us. 
We ask you to wash us white as snow, through our, though our sins be red as crimson. Forgive us our sins and iniquities as we choose to forgive those who have sinned against us. We love you, Lord, and we fix our hearts on you. As your bride, we actively search for you, O oh God. We posture our hearts towards you and we cry out, come Lord Jesus, come. And we pray, Lord, that we may be worthy to escape the things coming upon this earth. Give us hearts of good soil and the spirit of the Philadelphia church. We as your church and members of the body of Christ humble ourselves and pray. We seek your face. We turn from our wicked ways and we ask you for godly sorrow. We acknowledge now, O oh God, that you hear us from heaven. You forgive our sins and you will heal our land. Now that we have been washed clean, we've had our supernatural shower. We acknowledge you in all of our ways, O oh God, that you will give us direction to go in the ways we should on the path you have set before us. Thank you for ordering our steps. We now activate the healing Jesus paid for on the cross. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. We now clothe ourselves with the garments of strength Put it on. Put it on like a jacket. Dignity. For me, that seems like some sort of head garment. Humility. I believe it's more like a cloak. And we put on the full armor of God. The helmet of salvation. Another head garment. Breastplate of righteousness. Belt of truth. Our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Some like to envision them as sandals. And I inserted here. How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel. We take our shield of faith. And our sword, which is your word, O God. And we go forth in the army of the Lord. We ask now that you guard our mouths so that no perverse or unwholesome talk will proceed from them. We guard our gates. We guard our reproductive gates, our visual gates, our eyes, our hearing, Father, our ears, our mouth gate, and we guard our hearts. We put on your radiance. I like to think of this as a highlighter. Some people wear makeup. I really don't. Um, but you can think of it as a highlight for your face. Putting on the radiance of God that we may glow. Let our, our light so shine before men that they will see our good works and glorify our Father who was in heaven. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to have some quiet time with the Lord. Journal read my Bible, study the um, the lesson for this evening's Bible study. Maybe I'll be able to screen record a little bit of that and, you know, put it in this video. We'll see. Stay tuned. Me, happily bringing my ring light downstairs. Okay. We're studying Acts 2, 1 through 21. If you guys do not know, um, you might want to consider learning the books of the Bible in their categories in order so it's easier for you to flip through the Bible and you don't have to look in the table of contents every single time you want to look for a book. Or if you're in church, you know exactly where to open up to. Um, when the pastor is talking about something, you're familiar with all the Bible stories most likely. And that is why my church is currently having a training for service course where you learn the ins and outs of the Bible. You get a good foundation in the word. And from there, you can build revelation very easily, I, I might add. I took it when I was in high school and not yet into the things of God. I learned a lot in the class. There were a lot of things I already knew. Um, but I'd say one of the most valuable things is just a, a knowledge of the books of the Bible. So it acts is right after the Gospels. Okay guys, 
I just read through the designated chapters. I took some notes here. Also want to look in the Bible concordance that I have on my phone. I'm gonna, you know, put a screen recording or something in here so you guys can look at it too and see if you might wanna get this in your app store. It's free. Um, it has so many different versions of the Bible, but what it does is it'll take it verse by verse. And if you tap on a verse, it'll take you to the original context in the Greek or Hebrew language, depending on whether or not it's the Old or the New Testament. Um, it'll explain things word for word so you get that original context, like I was saying before. It's so important to know where the word is coming from, who it was going to in that intended time, and just know how to rightly divide the word. All right, I just finished my concordance notes. I went back in, um, got a little bit of revelation here that I'm looking forward to sharing on Bible study because, you know, we are all allowed to chime in, which is very nice. I don't like those classes where basically they're just talking at you the whole time. So, yeah, I really enjoy our classes. And if you did not know, uh, we are welcoming anyone to join. So definitely see me for details. So... Here we are later. I'm getting ready to make some cinnamon apple sticks. You see, I'm slicing the apples now. Um, I've got some yellow potatoes uh, boiling in the skillet now. As you can see here, I'm gonna, you know, scramble up some eggs in here. Uh, none of our avocados are ripe right now, so I'm gonna have to wait on that. I would normally have that, but yeah, this should be a nice little um, breakfast for dinner situation. I've been really into just um, protein and fruit exclusively. I don't know what it is, but I wasn't feeling the best a little while back, uh, like a couple of weeks ago. But after that, my appetite is a lot less. Um, I'm not eating meat for whatever reason. It makes me feel nauseous, just the thought of meat. I don't know what that's all about. My stomach's been a little bit more sensitive and I have been slowly getting back into eating because there was uh, that week I really wasn't eating at all. Um, so yeah. So these came out pretty nice. I'm just gonna save these for later. I wasn't planning on eating them now. Like I said, I don't really have a sweet tooth right now. I usually don't. Um, so yeah, I'll just eat this later on, maybe. Who knows what I'm gonna be feeling like. The homemade Italian dressing. It smells bomb, by the way. Hey guys, so here's what I made. I made some scrambled eggs and some, my version of potato salad because I don't like regular potato salad. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat right now. It is currently 349, so we've still got about a couple hours until our Bible study Zoom. So see you guys then. Okay. Shake to clean. So I didn't really get a chance to screen record Bible study, but this is what I did afterwards. I've been working on this painting, specifically the hair for today. A little while after that, I decided to make myself some caramel date sauce and fruit. The trick is here, you just keep stirring and whipping it up. If you guys don't know, I really like dates. Clearly, I truly do have Middle Eastern blood because the first time I had a date, I have been like hooked on them since. So yeah, this is a really good sauce. Now, this is something new for me. A lot of people actually put salt on their fruit, like especially apples that tend to be more sour. This is a first for me, but let's just see how it is. And there we have the finished product. In my opinion, the date sauce tastes better cold, but I ate it hot. Okay guys, it is evening right now. I'm getting ready to do my full on night routine and then go to bed. Okay, I was gonna do this face mask I've got in here, the Aztec healing clay mask, but it's almost 3 a.m. and I'm still awake and I'd much rather get to bed quickly. Um, so this is what I use to take any residue of my lipstick off. As you can see, it is like completely crummy on the label it's just old i've had this like over a year still haven't used a full bottle obviously so it is what it is it's not an aesthetic <laughs> um although i can make it one next time all right just applied these now i'm going to lights out good night guys all right good night everyone what in the world you guys see that in the world and then I'm just gonna go to 
Ooh, that looks like some angelic activity over there. Buenos días a todos. Hoy es el próximo día y estoy cocinando mi desayuno. Espero verte la próxima vez. Chao familia realeza. Shalom.